Welcome back you guys, it's Billy D, this is Drink Smoke Build, and today we're finally getting to review the rental Camaro that we took to Texas. We are up in the small mountains of Oklahoma and we're about to take the windy route back home. So we're going to get a little fun driving in, talk about the car, talk about the quirks and features <laughs> of this particular model, this V6 Camaro 2020 fun fun car to drive and we're going to talk about that right now as we get on the road today on drink smoke bill It's Billy D. This is Drink Smoke Build, and today we finally get to test the rental Camaro out on some windy roads, and we are going to have a good time. Speed limit 65, and it's windy. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, anybody that gives V6 Camaros and Mustangs shit hasn't driven one or they're just spoiled because I will tell you this car is the most fun I've had in years and I drove a Corvette last summer no offense Johnny wonderful car lots of fun but this car is absolutely amazing 25 miles to the gallon in sport mode and me definitely not driving it economically yet it has instant power. Sport mode is all that it's cracked up to be. Haven't messed with turning the traction control off yet. It corners really well. I had several roundabouts to kind of practice with. And man, it just sticks. Now, maybe a lot of that is because I haven't driven a sports car a newer sports car much like I said I did drive that Corvette and I had to have a little bit of other experience in the near past but I just am still blown away the comforts the ease of driving the available power oh look at this and just the way that it sticks to the road joy a driver's car if you have a chance to drive one of these I would highly recommend you get behind the wheel because it's a fun car it's economical and it does everything it's supposed to do so while we're driving and having a good time on this mountain road by the way, if you guys want to know where I'm at, I am in Turner Falls, or the Arbuckles, in South Central Oklahoma. I'm on Highway 77, which used to be the only way to get to Dallas from Oklahoma City long, long before I was born. I-35 has changed that. But I will definitely say that it is an amazing experience considering it's big brother the Corvette it's more faster versions the SS and the uh, LT1 it is still a really cool fun car to drive so I I am here today to tell you guys 
that the V6 Camaro, and I used to make fun of them all the time, no longer deserves the hate. So let's talk a little bit about the creature comforts. The uh, traction control is seems to do really well. I haven't had any sort of slippage that I can tell, and I've pushed it pretty close to the limit. And again, I haven't turned it off. The uh, three modes, you've got a touring mode, you have a sport mode, and you have a ice and snow mode. Now it is the middle of the summer and over 100 degrees, so we obviously aren't going to need the ice and snow mode. But the touring mode and the sport mode don't seem to change much between the two until you put your foot on the floor. The There we go. And we're done. We're off that road. And we're going to get back on I-35 and head to the city, and I'll continue to talk to you guys. But the touring mode, as I was saying, um, does seem to get a little better gas mileage. It is mostly a transmission issue, a shift point issue. When you put your foot down in sport mode, it actually says up on the screen that it is making a performance shift. The touring mode, as far as I know, does not do that. It's still a very quick car in the touring mode, but the sport mode changes that shift point and gets that red line up at 7,000. And it definitely makes a difference when you're driving the car hard or hard-ish. Speaking of which, let's merge. said if you want to manually shift it does have paddle shifting as you can see there and we'll go ahead and we'll put it into manual mode so right now we are in 10th speed yes it has 10 gears in the transmission so we can downshift give ourselves a little more available power a cool feature uh, putting the paddle shift in you know what is really Chevy's base model sports car and I think that's cool they've taken a lot of hints from the Corvette over the last few years in this new Camaro um, of course the paddle shifting the steering wheel is pretty much the steering wheel right out of a vet except it says Camaro instead of Corvette um, the the dash the dash is definitely unique to the Camaro. Um, it's not like the VET with that big digital screen and gauges. This has manual gauges and a digital screen as well. So it is a little different in that aspect, but in terms of the comfort, the seats, the steering wheel, uh, really just all of the interior features are obviously taken from previous model vets and if you know anything about Corvettes you know that they are the experimental car for Chevrolet for General Motors that they actually test new systems on the Corvette before they put them into mass production cars a, a good example of this is uh, the 97 C5 Corvette with the available heads-up display that was the first time 
General Motors had ever offered that on any vehicle. Also, the disc braking, I believe it was, in um, all, all uh, four-wheel disc braking, I believe that was in the 80s versions, uh, that um, it was first done on the Corvettes and um, experimental motors and transmissions, all of that kind of stuff comes from the Corvette and they tweak it, make it better, make it last longer and put it in their higher number production models and this Camaro is no exception. It has a lot of that technology and it is reliable on the fly technology and what I mean by that is, is this car doesn't stutter, this car does not put you in a situation, a dangerous situation. Um, like a lot of the older sports cars used to do uh, and that that's like you know not not having the available power that you think you should have or the braking power that is all top-notch and state-of-the-art in these newer cars and again I know a lot of you guys drive newer cars so you're like uh, Billy we've known this I drive old cars so driving this newer 2020 Camaro is absolutely an experience and I recommend it to anyone. So guys, that's pretty much it. We are cruising down the interstate and headed back home. I'll get there and edit this video and get it uploaded for you guys tonight. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you found value in this video, please mashy mashy on that like button, mashy mashy on the subscription button. And let's not forget, click that notification bell so every time we drop a new video, you will be notified. Much love you guys. Billy D. Flooring it on out of here. For Drink Smoke Build, we'll see you next time.